Hey kids, just so you know, I took this out in front of my house and I washed the heck out of it. It smells really good. This is not hard to do. Then you can also clean up things, put a little bit new plumber's uh, tape on, make sure that all of the clamps are secure. Here it is. My flange came from Amazon.com. I ordered this on Friday and it's friggin' Sunday and it's here. I didn't think that that would happen. I'm gonna open this up. Okay, here it is. So this cost me about seven bucks, 750, something like that from Amazon. Two days, I got it right here. So like I said, don't think that parts aren't available. They friggin' are. I'm gonna put this on. I think I need some of my silicone. The bottom of the toilet. This is the flange. Oh, it goes this way. Does it? Yeah, it goes this way. The, the part that looks like it slopes down goes down. I took this out a long time ago and washed it and dried it so that it would be nice and clean and dry for my flangeola. All right, silicone. Put the silicone all around the edge, the whole thing, and around the circle of the flange. That's the way it looks on. I'm gonna come around and put silicone all around this edge too. Okay, the silicone is on. It's gloppy and gloopy. So that's what you want, is that to be on there nicely. I'm the tip of the silicone, but I have the top on it. If you get to the point when you're done and this is still oozing out, just release this a little bit and this will be like this then, loose so that this isn't constantly squeezing and squeezing your stuff out where it's oozing. Wipe it off with paper towel and then put the cap on. All right. I'm not gonna let that dry because if it dries puffed up, it's not gonna have a good seal. So now that it's all on there, now while it's kind of curing, I'm gonna put it back in the hole. Hey kids, have my work shirt on and my work pants. I don't know if you can see, because I can't see doodle when the sun is the way it is. Here's my shifty boy, look. Look at his little lips. I love how he has lips. My baby. Anyway, right now it's toilet time. I got the part from Thetford. Let me just show you. Look, right from, right from Thetford but I ordered it from Amazon. Uh, if you ordered it through Thetford, it would take like a week to get here and it was 40 bucks, but I ordered it from Amazon. It got here in two days because I have that free two day thing, prime thing because I'm a student and it only cost me 28 bucks. It comes with this. This is the culprit. It goes like this. This is the ball valve, okay? Here it is, take a nice look at it so that you can see. But this is the culprit that is leaking and apparently this has been leaking for quite a while because the metal underneath this is blackened and I would never have known it had the other thing not cracked because it was where, where it leaks is in the back and it goes right down into the hole underneath the toilet or something, whatever. Okay. I don't know if these are instructions and directions. I'll take a look at this before I bother to call the girls at Thetford. Comes with screws and stuff and also comes with a gasket. And I gotta tell you, this gasket uh, feels a lot more substantial than the one that came separately that I paid $7.50 for. So I'm gonna take the other one off and put this one on. The other one felt kind of foamy. This one feels like real rubber, real rubber. And you know how important it is to have a real rubber on. <laughs> hey! <laughs> At our age, who gives a shit anymore, right? Okay, so I'm going to take the other one off. Alrighty, that's it. We're going to get to this toilet fix and get the hell out of here because I want to go down to Pahrump and enjoy my very first Harvest Host visit. Yes, I joined Harvest Host yesterday. Ooh, I'm excited! Oh! Alright, let's get moving. Come on, kids. I'm here at Home Depot. I have the toilet out again. The old part is already off. But what I did was I took the, the two screws out from the bottom, right there, took those two out first, and then took the, 
nut. And I'm keeping it like this so that I can see that that fringy part goes on the top. Then the hard part was getting this off of this hose. It was hard to get this tube off of the old one. So I was really scared that I wasn't gonna be able to get the new one on, but it went on really easily. But while I had this out, I was able to get that clamp on that hose that was the only hose that had no clamp. Well, now there's a clamp on it. And it didn't go too tight because it's plastic and you don't wanna crack plastic. It's very nice and tight. And I think that's gonna do a good job. Now, I, instead of putting this back on, which I think was hard to do, I'm gonna put this clamp back on right here. So I hope that this works. And I should have put it on, I think I'm gonna take, it was easy to get this in here, so I'm gonna take that back off and put this in. And you know what? I'm gonna put this as well, just for extra measure, okay? Because it seems like there's a ridge there and I'm gonna do both of them, okay? Laugh if you will, ha ha ha, but that's what I'm doing. So I was able to get this thing back on by doing this. Squeezing it open and holding it and see? Getting it on there. All right, next step, I'll put this clamp right in here. I'm gonna see which way is the easiest way that it's gonna go to twist. And whew, don't know if I'm gonna be able to use this one. We'll check. Two clamps on there. Jeez, I don't know if I need them both, but I'm gonna leave them. All right, and as you can see, this doesn't come with this little spouty thing. So I'm gonna take that off and spin it into there. But I need my plumber's tape for that. Okay. Just so that you know, that back one, where am I? Okay. The one on this side is a little hard to get to because this mechanism, which is, that's what they called it, was a mechanism. <laughs> and they wanted $145 for the mechanism. I'm like, you crazy? The whole toilet is 170 bucks. Well, 190 with the spray thing. Anyway, put this one in first, this side, because you have to move this a little bit and it has to be a little bit wiggly to be able to get it up and under and over this. Can you see? See how that has to get underneath this thing? So you want this one loose so you can move it a little bit, okay? I put this one on first to stabilize it though. Alrighty, but that's just my method. And now, I didn't see anything wrong or different with this one here, unless it's the space around here, around the circle. Uh, this thing better friggin' work, because I will be really pissed if that's not what's wrong with it. Oh my goodness, I'm not taking this fucking toilet out again. Excuse me, see? It made me say F. Alright, I gotta take this off. Over here, I don't know if this thing is focusing enough for you, but right here where my thumbnail is, I can see a crack. Can you see that? We'll examine the whole thing. But it looks like there was some pressure, and maybe that's where it was coming from. That little crack. Yeah, there's a crack there. Yeah, there's a crack there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a crack. Okie dokie. This better work, kids. Oh, yeah, that's a definite crack. Can you see that? I am waiting and waiting and waiting for this thing to focus. So those are actually the tools that I used. That's the old flange I took off, but there will be a flange, the silicone. I used those pliers to take off the nut, Phillips head screwdriver, the flathead screwdriver, that one to, tie, to uh, screw on the clamps that I bought. That one helped me to get off some of the dried on silicone from the old flange. That to get off the silicone, and that's the old one, but that will be the new piece that you would put on. Something tells me this is just not going to work, though. Crossing my fingers, though. Bye. New flanges on. Put silicone all under here in, like, the crease around here, and then some flat, and then some along the edge here. Then when I got it on, I went around it to hopefully make it watertight. While I'm here, I might as well try tightening those screws, but not too much because I don't want to break anything plastic. All right, 
This better freaking work. Hey, we're back in the bathroom. All this stuff is on. Again, I put a little dab of nail polish on each one of those screws so I could see them coming up through the holes. That's the only way that you can see them is coming up through the holes that they go into. And this is a hard, this is the hard part. So hang on. Okay, this project, I really seriously had my doubts up until the very last second. But, flushy, flushy, no leaky. Woo, flushing real good now. Okay, no leaks. Next! I'm in Home Depot. By the way, regarding your RV toilet, get down and hug your toilet. Put your arms around it and make sure that there are no leaks when the water pump is going and when you're flushing because there are different leaks that will happen for each thing, okay? Feel all the components in the back there, underneath, on the, on the floor, and make sure that you don't have any leaks, okay? Check that once in a while, all right? Okay, bye.